It's a call to Lee starts bringing me into the debate. Mr Speaker, I'll just make a, a, a brief submission because I was the chair of the Privileges Committee which examined the Parliamentary Privilege Bill now act in some detail. As you know, it arose out of the decision of the Supreme Court in Attorney General and Lee, but the opportunity was taken to at least partially codify the law of parliamentary privilege. And so that legislation was passed in 2014. So to a certain extent, the authorities relied on by the Ministry of, Minister of Justice have limited effect because, of course, the legislation was not in force uh, at the time of the Huata case. I'm very concerned that unless the committee has an opportunity to look at these issues, the interrelationship between the Parliamentary Privilege Act 2014 and the bill, this House and this Parliament could be in danger of legislative negligence. And I certainly don't want to get into the substance of the debate but simply say that a number of uh, people who have made submissions to the Select Committee have emphasised the importance of the Parliament addressing the relationship between the two pieces of legislation, because at the present time, if the bill is passed in its current form without any amendment, uh, there could be a clash set up for the courts. So that's the reason. Uh, why there needs to be a debate. I'm very conscious I don't want to get into the substance, but I simply refer to the submissions of the Clerk of the House, uh, the New Zealand Law Society, uh, and the Legislation and Design Committee, uh, which have all pointed out the need for the committee, and indeed the House, to grapple with this interrelationship. Chris Bishop. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Look, it's very important that the